Hey everybody, Matt here. I just wanted to make a quick video showcasing what the X32 can do using Mackie MCU control uh, to control Reaper. Uh, right now in front of you, we've got uh, an X32 Compact running version 2.10. Reaper is version 4.77. I believe everything else is up to date driver-wise between the two. Um, the card in the back of the X32 is an X32 USB card, the one that enables 32 in, 32 out, uh, not the card with FireWire. Um, simple, crappy USB cable connecting the two, uh, and I've had no problems thus far. Uh, this video is really just a gloss over and to get the connection started. From there, the more advanced stuff I don't really know enough about. Uh, I'm more of a live sound person, um, particularly when it comes to musical theater and live concerts. Um, I hardly venture into the recording world, but um, I thought this would be fun to see what this board can do in terms of MIDI control or Mackie uh, control surface control for the board to Reaper. Uh, so to get the two to talk real quick, you've got to do a couple of things. Uh, real quick on the board first, you're going to need to go to setup and then tab over to remote. And then under remote, you're going to need to click on Mackie MCU under remote protocol. And then under remote interface, card MIDI. The other thing you need to enable is the remote section. This DAW remote button needs to be enabled. Uh, a lot of times uh, folks will keep it disabled if you use your board for other things. Uh, and that just keeps you from going into the remote workstation during a live scenario. Once you've got that done on the board, uh, you can actually come over here to Reaper. Open up Reaper, set up your tracking options in your mixer and how many tracks you want to record into. And uh, you'll go to Options, Preferences, and then under Preferences, there's two things you need to do. Under Audio and MIDI, MIDI Devices, you need to disable XUSB MIDI In and XUSB MIDI Out. Those need to be disabled. Um, we are trying to treat the board as a control surface and not a MIDI device. So Reaper needs to know that. So once you've disabled those two, you can scroll down to the bottom. And the second thing you need to do is go to Control Surfaces add a new control surface, drop down and select Mackie Control Universal. MIDI input is XUSB MIDI in, MIDI output is XUSB MIDI out. You click OK and you'll get one of those. If you get an error message, the first place you need to check is to make sure you disabled uh, MIDI in and MIDI out as a device. Um, but under control surfaces, once you get that squared away, no error messages pop up, <clears throat> you should be good to go. Once we've done that, we can actually see if the two devices talk to each other. So back on the board. Once we do that, we can actually go and see if the two devices talk to each other. So we'll go back to the board and hit DAW Remote. DAW Remote comes up and you lose this section of the board. This channel strip of one through eight becomes your DAW remote workstation. So you have channels one through eight listed here. Everything here on the left side of the board becomes your channels that you would typically use during a live situation. This still gives you control of your preamps. Well, this gives you control over what Reaper is doing. The faders are one to one. Uh, channels one through eight are channels one through eight in Reaper. If you move the fader, on the console, the fader moves in Reaper. If you move the fader in Reaper, fader moves on the console. So, what you can do from this point is actually pretty neat. You've got this section of DAW control here. Your buttons here on the left side, uh, this is your home button, your bus 9 through 16 kind of becomes your, your landing spot. That gives you your channel mutes. If you want to arm a channel to record, you will hold down bus 1 through 8 button. Your scribble strip changes to ready or record ready buttons. So you'll hit the button and that will arm that respective channel for recording. So let's just arm channel 1 right now. And then let's go back down to the matrix main channel. And that will change your scribble strips to stop, play, 
rewind, fast forward, and record. And they do exactly what they say. Um, if I were to press record right now, which I'll do, Reaper automatically begins tracking all the channels that are armed to record. So if I pick up this vocal mic and I speak into it like this, Reaper starts tracking what the vocal mic does. So when I'm done speaking into it, I can press stop. And then Reaper pops up a screen saying, hey, do you want to save this? You can either save or delete. We'll save it for right now. And we'll just select a spot. And then what you can do is if you're tracking something on top of that, <clears throat> right now I have... Right now I have Reaper set up uh, to run back into my board so that I can uh, replay tracks that I've already uh, recorded through monitoring. So right now channels 1 through 16 are set up to track into Reaper. Channels 17 through 32 are the 1 through 16 in Reaper just sent back out of the computer back into monitoring. And that can all be set up on this side of the board while this side remains open for uh, DAW control. Um, because uh, if you remember, you can access your buses from this side of the board, which is fantastic. So back over here, we can rewind, and then we can press play. And now what we just put into Reaper will actually play back through on a channel and be sent to whatever monitoring. Right now it's actually being sent through a P16. Um, it reaches the end of the track. It'll stop, reset. Uh, and then you can just go around and disarm the track. Uh, this, what, what Reaper gives you, or what the Mackie control gives you is channels one through eight by default. If you wanted to do nine through 16, you would go to your group, DCA one through eight button. You would hold it down and your scribble strips change again to some more commands. So you can actually scroll right in Reaper. You can actually scroll up and down and look at your tracks. You can scroll channel by channel or you can change banks. If I press right bank, it will actually change my banks to nine through 16, or I can do left bank and go back to one through eight. Cool.